Let's make this thing big. Get you in the shindig. The mic is right and I like to win. Figure it out, the girl said. So I went with her into the bathroom with the rise in temperature. You know, back in the day I used to spit. Back in the day I was part of a uh, crew with uh, a bunch of brothers. We were on TV out here in the Bay Area. We did parties in San Francisco. I can tell you some of the promoters, and some of the parties, it was obvious that they, uh, let's just say, um, were on both sides of the law, right? Let's just say in my life, I've met quite a few different people and stuff like that. I met Ice-T when he was first starting out. I was a college DJ spinning records. He came by the studio and actually sat down and talked with us. Right. I remember when Dr. Dre was in the world class wrecking crew. This is before he was with N.W.A., etc. So I remember vividly the early days of hip hop. Right. I was in a hip hop when it was really more about getting laid than getting paid. Right. So you can imagine I've been nervous about this show called Empire. Right. I was nervous about how they were going to portray the early days of hip hop. So I was looking at the ratings of this show and it shocked everyone, right? This is a rear show that apparently has gotten bigger and bigger crowds every week. And I noticed some of the people involved with uh, the show are folks I appreciate deeply. Timberland, for example, right, is involved with the show. Right. Let me just say Timberland is a better artist than anyone on the show, but that's another story. Right. Lee Daniels, who was involved with the movie The Butler, is involved with the show. But let me just say, even though I'm fully aware, fully aware that the beginnings of hip hop, uh, you know, had some rough edges. Right. You know, how did Easy e make his money? How did Jay-Z make his money? I have to say, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed, right? It's, it's a bit disheartening to watch a show with a lot of black characters, right? Dealing with black subject matter. And while I'm watching the show and while I understand that you know, money comes from wherever you can find it. So the fact that the label in the show is funded with drug money, all right, I'll roll with that. I've seen that, right? I'll just say this. You know, as I'm watching the show, I have to tell you, when they reveal that the lead character, Terrence Howard, one of my favorite actors, right? When they reveal that Terrence Howard has killed four people back in the day. And when they show him killing a fifth in the opening episode of Empire, and that's as far as I've gotten, you know, I really have to question what exactly are they trying to portray on over-the-air TV to all of us, right? You know, I understand being a black male, you're often not going to get the benefit of the doubt in the United States of America, right? I know there are a lot of black men watching this video, nodding their heads, but isn't this a little bit too much, right? Why can't they portray a hip hop company where maybe the guy, you know, started out on the other side of the law, maybe the guy had to do whatever it took to get a record label started. But are we supposed to believe that everyone starting a record label is supposed to be a serial murderer? Right? Keep in mind, the Terrence Howard figure, I haven't even gotten to the second episode. The Terrence, Howard's fi the Terrence Howard figure is supposed to have killed at least five people. At least five. Let me also say this, 
And I don't say it lightly. You know, I understand a lot of people are talking about homophobia in the black community. And yeah, the black community has its share of homophobia. But what exactly am I supposed to think when I'm watching this show and Terrence Howard throws his gay son literally in the garbage? Right? You know, folks, we don't have a lot of black entertainment out there. And when the black entertainment out there has an entrepreneur who has killed five people and is throwing his gay son in the garbage, literally leaves the house, takes the kid outside and throws him in the garbage, I think the show is doing a disservice to African Americans. It's a bit more shocking when you realize that African Americans are helping write the show. This is really an indictment of Hollywood in 2015, right? Simply put, it's ridiculous, right? Now, the show's riveting. I'm going to continue to watch the show. It's interesting. But let me just say this, right? You know, if you're going to portray the African-American community as so homophobic that Terrence Howard's throwing his son in the garbage, right? Why don't you also try to at least acknowledge that in the African-American community, we supported Luther Vandross. We supported Michael Jackson, right? Everyone in the black community knows that there's a sizable gay population out there. You go back through black history, and you're going to find that, you know, one of the key members of Duke Ellington's entourage was gay. Right? So it's just kind of sad. It's just a lament that you hardly have any African American shows out there. And when you see an African American show with Terrence Howard and Malik Yoba, of course, in that show, the entrepreneur can't be some, you know, guy from the hood who is savvy and who's making five cents out of four cents and who's making great business decisions. Right? They can't portray someone who comes across as a Mark Cuban or a Richard Branson. No, when they portray an African-American in a over-the-year network TV show, the guy, of course, necessarily has to have killed multiple people and has to necessarily be virulently homophobic in his past. Right? It's ridiculous. Now, there's more hope. There's more hope for the cookie character, right? She's really what's gonna get me to watch episode two. She's a breath of fresh air. But here again, it is a little bit stunning how they now portray the hip hop label as being out of touch. I gotta tell you, I've met some wealthy brothers who were involved in hip hop, none of them dress like Terrence Howard dresses in this show. They can't even have homeboy wearing, you know, authentic looking clothing, right? So let's just say I'm a skeptic of this show. I'm looking forward to watching more. To the writers of this telecast, why don't you at least introduce some characters who are from the hood, who are successful in the business world, and who were able to do so without killing five people? Is that too much? to ask. Let me hear from you. I've put this on my sports page here on YouTube because YouTube tells me that a lot of 18 to 34 year olds watch my videos. A lot of young men watch my videos and I'm guessing that a lot of you are watching this show Empire, right? I applaud Fox for at least recognizing that there's a hip-hop culture out there and actually presenting this show. But let me say this too. In the black community, a lot of families have had people in prison. A lot of families, right? People understand that sometimes, you know, parents made decisions way back when. In this case, Cookie's supposed to have gotten into the drug game to help feed her family. Right? That have consequences. So you can imagine, here I am, watching one of the few black shows on network 
television. Cookie, who's just gotten out of prison, meets one of her sons for the first time in years. Of course, nobody's visiting Cookie in prison, right? Cookie meets her son, and of course the son, in their first conversation, turns around and calls Cookie bitch, right? Now look, I'm not saying there aren't guys who are a little bit poorly behaved with bad attitudes toward their mother in the black community. But the black community is so much more than this portrayal, isn't it? I mean, you've got to be kidding. If, if there's a community out there that would welcome a mother who has been in prison back to the community, it's the African-American community. So to see that in a movie where, of course, Cookie's former boo has killed five people, right? You know, to see that in this movie, let's just say, as I was watching this, I was wondering what, let's say, an 11-year-old black kid watching this show would conclude about their heritage. I'm going to give the show more of an opportunity, but let's just say, wow, you know, it's only when they're talking about the black community that you get shows like this. It would have to be a mob movie for you to hear that daddy, in the course of his life, has killed five people. Right, wouldn't it? Anyway, let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.